really pull off all of these tanky heroes and yep. just showed to us that, hey, I belong to the reign yes. of uh, strong tanks yes. here in the tournament. But again, we're, we're not sure because he can probably play the Carmilla. So there you go. That's Yawi's Carmilla. Chester will now play the Akai. It's now, again, a two-tank setup for yep. NXP. Exactly. What, what I am really... I think that it's important to take note that NXP Solid, this is not them playing in the meta, but at least it, this is them playing in their comfort picks. Gonna be looking at um, uh, Chester on this Akai as well as a uh, quote unquote supporting uh, Carmilla, I think. So it's it's your magical damage output. Yep. It is indeed Yaoi to pick up the Carmilla and then Chester on the Akai. I think this is comfort spot for them. Yeah. And it is a it is a set of heroes that can actually match the Lancelot. It is. I'm looking at this for NXP. If this goes late, their lineup can be stronger against Brand Esports. Maybe the bigger question is, can their knowledge, in-game knowledge, and their mechanics be enough for Brand Esports in the late game? Yeah, they, they, their win condition here is just to take it up until the ultra late game mark probably mm. up, uh, up until eight, uh, 18 minutes because it's looking like Bren with their lineup right now they want to fight 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 and fight especially yeah. with the arrow coming in three seconds i don't know man this yahweh carmilla pick is not that successful for nxp in the past few games that they had but they trust the the instincts of yahweh especially with the vengeance let's go the hype is Match of the season, H2O and Yawi now in the mid lane as Girl Easy and Few will start off as three. The Akai Chester now starting the orange buff for H2O to take. Um, now look at this, uh, Lusty doing that block. If you recall MPL season four, it was Lusty to use that Grok to block, right? Ooh. This guy, this cannon, right? They're delaying the lane, but this time Lusty is using the ejector to slow that down so that they will have a better chance here taking the, this purple buff. Yep, and that's it. They actually also got the little wonder, mm. if I'm not mistaken. So that is a good start for Ren Esports. As looking at the side lanes right now, Renny J on his signature Cho, and we have the Tams right here. No stuns whatsoever from Few, but now the Lancelot will take the orange buff. So is this is this a dangerous spot though for H2O? It is a dangerous spot indeed. Ooh. But with Chester all playing this one, it could be good. Let's That's see. What you need. Definitely what you need. Lusty is here. Can he take the purple buff? No, 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 he can't. That is the retribution from H2O as a few will back off here. He's falling low, uses the flicker. Carl TZ is also here with, of course, the help from Flap TZ on getting the first blood no as H2O will pop the Tempest of Blades. Flap TZ will also sight his way out. And that's the first blood going in favor of Bren Esports. Do take note that from October 27th to the November 13th, log in the game and participate in the Trickster's Village event and get Halloween candies for a treasure spin. Each Woo! spin will cost four Halloween candies and you can get up to seven each day. Now, if you have 10 spins, that's a guaranteed there is the special skin, wow. Hammer Giant, as you can see in your screen. Wow, there you go. Get it now and log into the game and draw that free skin. Speaking of uh, free skin i mean a freebie Ren esports taking freebies around the map on getting little little wanderers and getting a clear lead on the laning stage look at this rebo at level four and flap tz just owning Renny j in the top yeah because he knows that they can really just clear out the way flap tz this is his special yeah he the loves special. playing this thams he knows yeah. every single Oof. thing about the thams <sighs> did you see that man what happened I kind of missed that. What Few one? uses the Abyssal Trap in advance and H2O got delayed because mm. he stepped into a trap inside yeah. a wall. Oh, yeah, and you know that if you're controlled, it's bad. Yaoi though. Yaoi though, falling low. There you go. Goodbye, Yaoi. As Kurt uh, is also at half health, but of course, no follow-up for the side of NXP Solid. So going back to what you said, Wolf, the plan here is for the brand to end it early. But how can NXP extend this to the late game? Well, they need a massive initiation from Chester, but that not, might not happen. As you can see in the middle, we had a straight-up chance to see Chester really 
land a big combo. Unfortunately, he popped the, Hur the Hurricane Dance far too early. That's why the combo wasn't there. I mean, imagine this. You want to pop the Tempest of Blades on top of the enemy heroes and want to hit that AoE damage with the Ling. But because of the fact that the Akai just used the Hurricane Dance to shove them all away, that meant that the combo from the NXP Solid did not push through. And now H2O, let's be careful about this. Here we, here we see Carl Tizzy at level 7 and H2O at level 6. He's not delayed yet, though. But okay, ready, Jay? Time to outplay Flap Tizzy. And this is what you get if... Oh, no, Renny, Jay. Oh, oh, my God. Look at this. The quickness and the swiftness oh. of Carl Tizzy on this Lancelot after... In <laughs> After landing the Torn Throw, just immediately with the Puncture, He man. knows exactly what to do against this matchup. He, even when it's not the most favorable one, still managed to take it out like a boss. Oh, yeah. Lusty, no oh, way! Wow. Oh! Almost hit him with the arrow, Pudo. But H2O will get out. There you go, another Hurricane Dance for Jester to save the life of H2O. And Yaoi will pay the price. Oh. Dude! The synchronization from Bren right now, it's outmatching it's, NXP. And definitely, now they even took down Chester with the massive outplay. I mean, from Fuse Arrows, and they will also take a turn. This is their win condition. They need to dominate early, and they're doing it yep. so easily against NXP Solid. Yep, and now Revo is up with the, uh, with the Immortality. How good is this, this if is, you play the X-Boy? It's perfect, because you... How many XP solid sign up? They want to finish everybody or anyone easily, like as fast as they can. And immortality at five minutes means that Rebo is very confident at this point. Yep. Oh my, this is bad news for NXP. They, they, they don't have items yet. Nice kick coming in from Renny J. Here comes another random execution from Carl DZ. And Yaoi is also in half health. Pops the Vengeance and also pops the Crimson Flower. But there you go, another. Probably another turtle for the side of Bren Esports to take this as Carl TZ will miss that Thorn Rose. Oh my. Oh Arrow my. connects and it's goodbye. Oh my. And it rhymes, man. It rhymes. Now, look at Few just making it hard. Okay, Chester with the Hurricane Dance and it's gonna be the first kill for uh, NXP Solid. Yahweh right now also Falling low once again as a few is actually overextended. Yeah. He's welcome at the purple pin. Yeah, they want to They wanna just take away the purple buff from this uh from this Ling. And that's the right decision anyways. Yep. But then again it backfired. But for Brain Esports, I think and I'm sure that that's not much. That's a support. Yes. And yeah. the fact that they are making NXP solid react like a commitment of the Tempest of Blades and the Hurricane Dams at this moment. Yeah. It's massive because it all also allows Brain Esports to play aggressively because they know that there's no ultimate available from their opponents. I think that you're pointing out that NXP is quite confused right now whether they would like to team fight or they would like to defend. Yeah. Because looking at the items, you have this ambush mechanic now for Bren, but okay, NXP again with another pick off. Can Bren can Bren take a revenge kill though? Yaoi is going to be the main target of the side. Here comes the flowing blood from MB as H2O is also setting it up. But okay, that is clearly a miscommunication for NXP. Even though they got a kill, Bren with the revenge kill as well. No. And of course, that is going to put a lot of um, confidence now for Bren Esports. Even Lusty is just going to be able to be play aggressively now. As you can see, an invade for Bren Esports is going to happen. And I don't think that NXP Solid will be prepared for this. If they do fight, it might be bad for them. Like oh, what you're seeing it. it now. But they got it. Go, go, go. Oh, man. I can't. I can't unsee. <laughs> I can't unsee how Bren is... Just owning NXP Solid in every part of the map. Exactly. It's a, they know. They have mastered this. And I think with the draft, you're looking at the draft, there's not much pressure on NXP Solid side. And there's a ton of pressure on Bernie's. I think the fact that NXP Solid led through this Selena really is going to be a, a big problem. Because it allows Bernie Sports to pick any kind of hero for Lusty. Yeah. And currently, he just can pick up the Lancelot and he's already and A-OK. Okay. okay, yeah. Exactly. I get, yeah, man. Carl TZ also with the retribution. Jester now with the hurricane dance getting Carl TZ. Is he the main target as a phantom execution will hit him? And 
There you go. Another good pickup for Bren. And probably will extend this up until the third main inhibitor of NXP. H2O just clearing out the bottom lane. But still, it's Bren who is leading. Oh, they there have you go. Massive lead at this point, and they're just gonna be able to pressure the map. Look at Garotizi. Oh, that is a That's good heads up play because he, what he wants to do is just to put NXP Solid's lineup low, like the HP of the players of NXP Solid needs to be low for them to be just clearly cleaning out yeah. all of the lanes for yep. themselves. And that that's bad news. Like, yep. <laughs> you, you need to put in a lot of effort just to do that, right? Exactly. So, if you're gonna look at the items now, look at this quick item builds for Car uh, Carl DZ. Now with the endless battle, also have that, uh, that uh, Blade of Heptasis. It means that he really wants to ambush and wants to pick Yep. NXP solid. You know what, man? I think that what you said about the Selena, it's now we're now seeing it for the side of Bren. Yeah, it's pretty evident how much of a comfort this is for Bren Esports, and Carl Tz is just gonna be using his matchup advantage at nine minutes in. This hero, the Lancelot, can just punish NXP solid. The damage output is real. Yeah. Oh man, this is a crucial team fight. For NXP right now, they don't want this. They want a kick. Rebo with initiation. That's insanity connecting. But Rebo will actually miss. That is, of course, Yaoi tanking a lot of uh, damage output. But Yaoi will also fall, fall down. Girl DZ falling low. Phantom executions out. Here comes the flowing blood for MB. Can he get Girl DZ? No. Answer is no. Definitely no. Big lead now for Brand Esports means that they can also take over the jungle of NXP Solid. And they are. Really just starving H2O at this point. Oh man, massive lead. Ooh, oh, arrow. another arrow from Pew, but Rebo, <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Showing a little bit of uh, flex there. Just some flexing. Mm -hmm. He knows that the, that H2O cannot fight him at this point. H2O is just 1-0-1. Doesn't have any death, but he's also just level 13 compared to Cartesia's level 15. Yeah. And I'm sure that even the items will speak a lot because we know that Cartesia is so farmed right now. He's so farmed, man. So fat right exactly. now. You know what? We've been talking about the late game. We're now at the 11 minute mark of the game. But looking at the items, it seems like NXP Solid's uh, item progression is also delayed, man. Yeah. So, how is this? How can they defend this? They're already down with the tower. Bren mm. is always like pushing, sh shoving the lanes. They're not giving space to NXP. They could. Yeah. Oh no. oh, no. I was just gonna say that they have to utilize this link uh, to shove the. The lanes easily, and then also use the Alice, but they also hold, yeah, so that they can uh, hold this game. But Renny unfortunately, J's. that didn't happen. Renny J is also in trouble. Chester with another Hurricane dance, but man, it's another wasted ultimate for NXP. It's as one-sided as, as it gets now. Oh my God! Yahweh, Yahweh also just uh, the man lusty throwing him to places, and now Bran. Popping the recalls. Uh, is it the end? Whoa, H2O is, is now alive. Even when H2O is alive, this is a big push from Bren Esports. Maybe I think for Bren Esports, it will just take the buffs right now and then they'll be A okay once again. We're gonna be waiting for Flap TZ who will recall to base. Get the Lord with the Cutter Inferno. Yep. Bonus attack speed and. Could be over afterwards. But there oh, you no. go. Nice kick coming in from Renny J. But Rebo with the last insanity. Flickers in. Nice initiation from Rebo though. But again, Carl TZ is now unstoppable because of the follow up. Rebo also falling low. Here comes H2O. But Rebo, the doctor is now out. But Carl TZ, the child prodigy, can he outplay this? Is this an overextension from Renny Sports? Oh no! No way! DZ! The killing spree and the savage, the child prodigy. Look at the camera right now. Brand Esports taking game number one. Victory.